your friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your love for your support may god bless you i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends today's video is a girl's talk we are going to be discussing about how to look elegant on your online dating photos the photos that you are going to upload on your online dating profile how to take perfect beautiful attractive photos because if you remember i told you when a man goes on online dating apps you know to search for a woman <laughs> that he will marry later and starts browsing through women's profiles the first thing that he is going to look at before he reads your description what you're looking for into a guy he's gonna look at your photo so that is why photos are very very important and that's why today i decided to share with you this video i know it's gonna be very very helpful but not only for an online dating profile no because it's a girl stock so even if you are not on online dating apps the tips that i'm going to be sharing with you will help you you know take those cute photos that you're going to be posting on instagram <laughs> Facebook, all over social media if you are a social media lover but you still don't know how to take those cute photos i'm going to be giving you the tips isn't that exciting guys <laughs> but guys the second reason to why i decided to share with you this video it's because of the ladies i have been working with on instagram some of you are here and we've been working together when you come to me for guidance on your online dating profile the first thing that i'm going to ask you that i want to see will be your photos because i know photos play a very big role to find a guy who is serious because your photos can be the reason to why you are attracting and serious men yes it can be among of the reason so i tell you send me your photos and i have been receiving photos when i look at them i say no these are not okay but some of the ladies they don't understand me why i say they are not okay i told you guys every woman is beautiful you just need to know how to dress up you just need to know how to pose in your photos that you are going to upload on your online dating profile even i remember there is a lady i was helping i told her these photos are not okay she kept on sending me photos that were not okay i was not agreeing to those photos but she insisted and decided to go with the photos on online dating apps still did not find anyone still did not get any attention on online dating apps and after four months returned and was like bella still i'm not getting anyone who is interested in me i was like girl i told you work on your photos so some have been misunderstanding me when i told them photos are not okay they feel like maybe bella is just buying time bella doesn't want to work with me <laughs> That's not the case if the photos are not okay i'm going to tell you straight away they are not okay because photos are very very important the third reason to why i decided to do this video today for you beautiful ladies but if you're a guy watching this you can share this video with your girlfriend it's gonna help her very very much so my third reason is from the video that i uploaded i think two months ago <laughs> i was talking about how you should look on your online dating profile i think some of you can remember that video where i decided to contact different men who found love on online dating apps to talk to you guys that video some of you misunderstood it because i started getting crazy comments <laughs> some saying like bella i'm a lady who likes to look elegant so does it mean should i look homeless <laughs> in the photos that i upload on online dating apps ella i always admire your outfits 
when you do the videos does it mean you buy those outfits very very expensively <laughs> Because I'm a lady who likes to look so good, so I buy my outfits at a very cheaper cost and still look good. So what are you talking about, girl? <laughs> and some were very angry at those men. You misunderstood completely the message that I wanted to put out there. So I'll be answering some of the questions that you asked in that video like should i look homeless bella i'm someone who likes makeup does it mean i should just not put on makeup <laughs> such kind of questions so today it's all about looking elegant on your online dating photos the photos that you will upload on your online dating profile and without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video so dear friends i want all of us to imagine that we have not taken yet those photos. So I'm going to take you step by step to achieve those perfect photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile. And tip number one is work on yourself. A secret to achieve a very perfect photo that you're going to upload on your online dating profile is not how you have the best skills in editing those photos or you have the best editing apps no guys because at the end of the day if you go and edit too much your photos that you're going to upload on your line dating profile a guy gets interested your photos drives him crazy and he's like oh my god i must get to know this lady then asks for a video call find something completely different it's gonna turn him off so your work done equals to zero and i don't want that to happen <laughs> you should look beautiful and natural as possible how are you going to achieve that by taking care of your skin please dear ladies there is a video i did i told you to take care of your skin i told you scrub your body at least once in a month if you are a lady who is very very busy because that skin needs to glow you have to remove all the dead cells <laughs> on your skin to make your skin glow so you're going to be like bella scrubs are very very expensive no you can actually find very affordable scrubs at the cosmetics store or shop but also if you go on youtube you're going to find lots of videos on how to make a natural scrub which is even more cheaper so you have got no excuse <laughs> to why you shouldn't make your skin glow that is number one on working on yourself before you take those photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile and because i've talked of making your skin glow i remember most of you have been asking bella please do a skincare video bella you always glow what do you use on your skin guys the truth is i only use simple things i scrub my body with sugar scrub two times a week and i apply just normal things like baby oils sheer butter and vaseline sometimes when i want to go extra maybe it is summer like now i have a shima lotion that i bought at victoria's secret <laughs> i always apply that and if you have been careful attentive you'll find that i always glow so much here it's due to the shima lotion that i apply because when i stay on the light or on the sun it even glows more i love that simple as that so this is a shima lotion that i'm talking about yeah it's super super good <laughs> so where you are if you can find victoria secret store you can go and check out this shima lotion it smells like heaven <laughs> yeah you don't even need perfume when you apply this if you apply it yes you look more radiant but it's not a must so don't be like bella how can we find that bella is it a must oh bella i can't find that no that was just a tip i'm giving you as sisters you know <laughs> 
yeah just a little secret but if you can't find this and you would like this glow <laughs> or something that will bring same same outcomes as this shimmer lotion if you have got a highlighter you know the highlighter that we use to highlight <laughs> when we do makeup yes that one you mix it with lotion a bit of it and then apply on the places you want to glow but don't exaggerate just a bit of it yes so you can apply it here or here or here or on your legs if you're going to wear something that is short that was just a girl's tip <laughs> so let's move to next still on working on yourself so dear ladies before you take the photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile work on your hair if you have short hair make sure it is combed and you have applied you know enough oil the hair looks radiant the hair looks healthy don't just come with your uncombed hair the hair looks unhealthy it's gonna make you look ugly and in real sense you are not ugly remember no woman is ugly so work on your hair please if your hair is not cut you have braided hair just like me and at that time maybe that style is almost old you know you have stayed with it for a very long period of time it does doesn't look good try to lay it down be creative you can do a style that will not make your hair look old in your photos you are going to look put together the point here is don't just wake up and go take those photos please put some efforts <laughs> and trust me no man wants a lady who does not take care of herself to start with <laughs> so that is why it is very very important work on yourself so now i go to the question that you guys asked me in that video that i did on how to look on your online dating photos you know that you upload on your profile someone was like bella i like makeup very much but i see most men don't like makeup i gave you a tip that if you know you like makeup a lot of course a guy who is going to date you or marry you should accept you as you are you can't just give up on your makeup girl <laughs> so what you're going to do you are going to take two kinds of photos you're going to take photos you wearing makeup and other photos you not wearing makeup to show a guy that is going through your photos that this is how i look when i'm wearing makeup and this is how i look when i'm not wearing makeup so that they can see you on that natural look but at the same time you did not give up on your makeup so we go to those who don't like to put on makeup guys i've been seeing photos a lady sends you a photo when you look at it you're like girl why have you given up on yourself like that <laughs> she's like bella i'm not someone who likes makeup i understand and i respect that but please put a bit of effort on your face before you take those photos you don't like makeup yes but you can just work on your brows <laughs> okay you will still look natural right you can just apply a lip gloss that is colorless just like this this is a colorless lip gloss yeah i want to apply it here so that you guys can see it's colorless you can't see it but it makes a difference then you taking your photos with dry lips please try to be a woman i repeat no man who doesn't like a lady who looks put together a lady who looks radiant a lady who looks beautiful <laughs> yeah and when i say beautiful it doesn't mean you apply loads of makeup if it is not your thing it's not your thing girl <laughs> like me i gave up on fake eyelashes because every time i apply them i look totally a different person 
<laughs> so I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I like it when I see other women, you know, wearing long eyelashes. I'm like, oh my God, they're so cute. But it's not my thing. <laughs> so if makeup is not your thing, that's not an excuse of you looking pale, dry lips. <laughs> <laughs> in your photos no matter how you edit them we still gonna see those dry lips you still gonna see uncombed hair <laughs> It will all come through. But as a woman, it also feels so good when you take care of yourself, when you put yourself together. <laughs> yeah, so let me hope I've answered that question. Yes, you don't like makeup? Just do natural thing. But we will see the difference. <laughs> yes, dear beautiful ladies. So I am done with that. Let's move to something else. Still on working yourself before you take those photos if you want to look elegant in your photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile. So now we go to clothes or outfits that you're going to wear before you take those photos. I know those lazy ladies that, you know, I'm tired even to take those photos. Oh my God, all that, that's a lot of work. <laughs> then that means this video is not for you. But if you want to look elegant in your photos, you want to look elegant even in real life, keep watching this video. So we go to clothes or outfits that you're going to wear and I go to the question that you guys asked me, Bella, does it mean that the outfits that you always wear in your videos, you buy them very expensively? The answer is no. I buy them at a very cheaper cost. Just like I said, guys, I'm a normal person. <laughs> yeah, I live just a normal life. So most of my outfits range from 10 euros, 15 euros, 20 euros. Most of the tops that you have been seeing, including this, okay? <laughs> so the price does not matter. And I'm going to explain to you why the price does not matter when we talk about outfits that will make you look elegant, beautiful, young, <laughs> radiant, bright, full of life. So dear beautiful ladies, no matter your body type or your body size, whether you are a plus size, average or slim, you should have a shape wear. It's very, very important. Because when you have a shapewear, you put it on and then on top, you put that beautiful dress that flatters your body. You are going to look very put together and elegant. Everything will fit you very perfectly. Because some people think maybe shapewears are for plus size women. No, they are for everyone. But I'm not telling you to wear a shapewear every day because <laughs> even me, I don't put on a shapewear every day. But when I want to go extra, <laughs> look beautiful, look put together, everything looks so perfectly, then I put on a shapewear. So some shapewear comes in as a pant, but they are long. I'm going to be showing you the photo here or here so that you can see what I'm talking about because English is not our language <laughs> but some come in as full a pant and a bra you know so i'm going to show also the photo here or here those shapewears are so so good if you have never tried them you can give it a try and you'll give me the feedback or if you have been using them write me in the comment section below <laughs> yeah if you agree with me so if you're a plus size woman and you're watching this, I want to give you some tips on how to look elegant on the photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile. Avoid showing too much of your arms. Please, please. Because <laughs> one time I received some photos of a lady and I was like, no, we can't upload this because it does not look elegant at all. So avoid such kind of outfits. Another outfit that you should avoid as a plus size woman when taking your photos, you want to look elegant, please 
never wear something that is going to press your stomach so much or cut it into two for example you are wearing let's say it's a jeans or a skirt and then it cuts you into two then on top you come and wear a blouse or a top <laughs> that is short oh my goodness it is going to destroy everything it's gonna show your stomach so much that is compressed and somehow you might look pregnant <laughs> yeah i've been coming across such kind of photos so if a plus size woman prefer outfits like wrap dresses wrap skirts wrap tops they are perfectly for you so that they can hide that stomach remember inside you have got a shapewear so if you come on top with a wrap top or a wrap dress or a wrap skirt you are going to look elegant and put together in those photos if you're going to wear a dress i know most of you likes loose dresses <laughs> so avoid those dresses that will make you look more bigger <laughs> look like a sack of potato i remember one time when i was looking for a wedding dress we went into one store and then i was choosing you know some dresses <laughs> they were not for my body type at all <laughs> <laughs> so my husband was like oh my god that dress made you look like a sack of potato <laughs> i told him you don't need to remind me that i know <laughs> please you can play around with belts because when you leave your dress loose just like that it will make you look even more bigger remember you are a plus size you can use small belts or bigger belts but again also it depends with the design of that dress work on decorations you can buy dresses that have got flowers but bigger flowers not smaller flowers <laughs> no bigger flowers and outfits with a stiff material those outfits will make you look elegant put together fit you perfectly every time you wear them you will feel even confident in them so this tip goes to all women of all body sizes if you're going to choose an outfit to wear it can be even in normal life not even for online dating profile photos no make sure you choose an outfit that when you wear it you will feel comfortable yes it's very very important so how are you going to wear an outfit that will make you feel comfortable that should be an outfit that highlights the places on your body that you like the most and hides the places that you don't like all that much that way oh my goodness every outfit that you wear you will always feel very confident and beautiful so this explains to you why i've been wearing lots of off shoulder tops or dresses it's because i really love so much this part <laughs> on my body and even my legs i'm so so in love with my legs if you go on instagram you'll find lots lots of photos me wearing short dresses you know <laughs> showing off my legs because i love them so so much so if you ask me my insecurity because everyone has got her own insecurity <laughs> on her body because you have got different body types and this is to thank our parents <laughs> the body types that we have we can't change them okay so for example me my own insecurity i tend to gain weight on my arms the most <laughs> and on the sides of the stomach because that's my body type that my mother and my father gave it to me that's why it is very rare to find me showing off my arms yes and yes sometimes when i decide i show them off but when i want to look comfortable of course i wear something that doesn't show so much my arms and i don't tend to gain weight on the stomach you know in front no i told you on the sides so if i wear something i'm going to make sure that it fits me perfectly 
and hides those places so that I can feel comfortable and confident in whatever I am wearing. So you two work on the places that you don't like that much on your body and find out the places that you like more on your body. Show those places more than the places that you don't like much on your body. I hope you understand me. That tip is gonna help you very, very much on the way you dress up. I am not a fashion designer, but hey, I know how to dress up good. <laughs> so if you'd like some tips personally, still, you can find me on Instagram. I'm going to guide you on how to dress up accordingly to your body type. If you are a shorter girl, short girls, raise your hand up. <laughs> Please do not appear with flat shoes in your photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile. Please, please wear some heels. You might not be a heel girl, but choose those shoes with a bit of a heel. They will help you look more elegant in your photos. Guys, I almost forgot this important tip, especially for my black African women. If you want to look a bit unique, because some guys on online dating apps are looking for those photos that are very, very unique. So you can choose to go the African way, but not in all of your photos, maybe one or two photos. So how do you go the African way? Wear African attires, like Ankara, I think in Nigeria and Ghana, you call it like that. But in Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, we call it kitenge or vitenge. So you can choose to wear a kitenge top, pant, skirt, or a dress. But attention guys, remember the style that you're going to choose should be perfect for your body type so that you don't look shabby but elegant. So dear friends, number one was working on yourself number two the kind of clothes to wear in those photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile so tip number three goes to the colors of the outfits which is very very important i remember i did a video in the past talked about colors of the outfits because if you go wrong on choosing colors for your skin undertone then you are going to always look pale, you look tired, you look like you have given up on life, <laughs> or you're going to look you are trying to match. Because <laughs> when a person looks at you, oh my god, the first thing they're going to see is only the color of the outfit you are wearing, which is very, very wrong. So you should know how to choose the right colors for your skin undertone. I know this video might look a bit complicated for you, but when you listen carefully, I know you're going to understand me and this video is going to be a game changer because you start looking radiant, elegant, beautiful, full of life. So guys, I've talked of skin undertone and I know some of you are like, what is a skin undertone? <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> I've got a skin tone and skin undertone. The skin tone is the color of the skin that you can see with your eyes. But the skin undertone is the hidden color under your skin. And that hidden color is very, very important when choosing the colors of the outfits that you are going to wear. If you go wrong on your skin undertone, then that means you are always going to be wearing outfits that will make you look pale, that will make you look tired, that will make you like you have given up in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but if you get it right that means you're going to buy outfits with colors that suits you perfectly that will always make you glow look radiant look full of life look beautiful and young so how do you find out which one is your skin undertone there are so many ways to find out your skin undertone but i'm not going to explain all of them in this video i'm going to be telling you only one if you're interested you can check me on instagram at african bella and i'll tell you other ways or methods on how to know your skin undertone so this method is by looking at the veins 
on your arms these veins here this place here you know we have got some veins so you go close to the window on a natural light not under the sun no not on an artificial light no on a natural light you look these veins very carefully if you see that your veins here are green or has got an olive color then you are a warm undertone but if you see your veins here are bluish or purplish that means you are a cool undertone but if you look at these veins like i told you next to the window on the natural light and you find that then you see bluish purplish and sometimes green then you have got a neutral skin undertone let me hope you have understood but still i am here guys if you need help on that i will help you find out your skin undertone because it is very very important so guys for example like me when i go next to the window i look at my veins i see green and olive veins that means i've got a warm skin undertone so you who have been telling me oh my god bella every outfit that you put on or that you wear you always look radiant beautiful it's because i know how to choose the colors for my skin undertone and you too if you've got some outfits that every time that you wear those colors people are like oh wow you look so beautiful you look radiant then just know that those colors are good for your skin undertone and we have got lots of colors for example when we talk of blue blue has got lots lots of shades so you can't wear all blues no of course there is that perfect blue for you that will suit you perfectly for example now i'm wearing a yellow top it looks so good on me but this yellow if a person with a cool undertone wears this top what people are going to notice when they see her they are going to first notice this top because it will be too much for her <laughs> and even me with my warm skin undertone i cannot wear a yellow like this <laughs> okay this is a cool yellow yellow for people with a cool skin undertone if i wear this yellow i'm going to look so tired i'm going to look like i have given up on my life i'm going to look like i'm very old you know yeah all those negative negative things that are not elegant <laughs> yeah but with this color it looks so good on me i look elegant because it suits my skin undertone but again dear beautiful friends if you have not understood anything about colors check me out i'm going to guide you through so that your fashion game can change to better because imagine you have got a shape where you already know what kind of shoes you are supposed to wear okay and you know the color of the dress you are going to wear it's gonna fit you so perfectly why should you look ugly in your photos why you are not going to look ugly <laughs> you're going to look very beautiful and when you upload those photos trust me they are going to click on them <laughs> yeah <laughs> and to add something here concerning colors i have been helping some ladies and when you tell her you need to put colors that are bright they feel like maybe i'm telling them to wear colors that are going to overcome them you know guys even in perfumes if you are an elegant person you can't wear a perfume that is too much that when you enter in a room it's only your perfume that is overcoming everything <laughs> no that's not elegant we need to balance so when i tell you bright colors i think now you understand me bright colors means colors that suits your skin undertone if it is a yellow it should be a yellow that is for you if it is a blue then it should be a blue that is for you even white <laughs> we can't just wear white a white color there is a white for people with cool undertone there is white for people with warm skin undertone so tip number four we go to the poses how you pose oh my god this has been a big big challenge to most women my dear sisters 
I understand you. And one time I gave you a tip, I was like, if you are a social media lover, I know there are those celebrities that really inspires you, even the way they dress, the way they pose in their photos, you can go and copy, make practice until you make it perfect. But posing well in your photos, that adds an elegancy in it. So poses to avoid, <laughs> avoid posing like this rigidly <laughs> one time i saw photos like that i can't put an example here because you know she's my client <laughs> it's gonna kill me when she finds herself here <laughs> using her as an example but i was like girl no you can't stand like that in your photos so avoid such kind of a pose Pose number two to avoid don't sit like this you know <laughs> <laughs> when you are making a photo, don't sit like this. Sit straight like this if you're going to sit. Make sure you are straight. But if you're going to pause, let's take an example. You are sitting and then you sit like this or you sit like this loudly. <laughs> Your photos are not going to look elegant at all, at all. So you sit straight and then you suck in a bit your stomach take the photo <laughs> you will give me the feedback it's gonna look very very good perfect and elegant pose number three to avoid as a woman who wants to look elegant in her photos that she's going to upload on her online dating profile is not smiling <laughs> Of course, you're going to look ugly if you do like this. <laughs> I've seen such kind of photos. So that is why you have to sit straight. <laughs> yeah. Pose number four, to avoid while taking your photos. This is very, very important. Most ladies have been taking their photos and you find that they are five photos on that profile. But... All of these five photos, she's not looking into the camera. No. <laughs> she's looking down. She's looking somewhere else. She's looking up. Look into the camera so that a guy who comes across your photos is going to get that eye contact. And maybe he might fall in love with your beautiful eyes. Yes, it is allowed to do different poses, but make sure among those photos, you have some photos you are looking into the camera so that a guy can get that eye contact. If you listen to our brother-in-law Ian, Leticia's boyfriend was like, when he was on online dating apps, you know, searching for the right woman, could look at the photo of a lady and think, due to the things that he is seeing in that photo, if that lady is compatible with him and with his life, which is so, so important. So if you're going to look down, you're going to look up, you're going to look aside, how is this man going to get that eye contact with you? So please, let's avoid that if you've been making that mistake. I've been telling you to smile, so make sure you smile in your photos. <laughs> I've been telling most ladies that smile like you don't have any problems at all in your life. Even if deep inside you know I've got millions of problems that I need to <laughs> confront. <laughs> but smile, pull that smile smile because a smile heals when a guy looks at your smile it, it gives him vibes like this lady is so positive she's very understanding she's very calm and who doesn't want a lady like that <laughs> another pose to avoid while taking your photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile is showing your bum <laughs> showing what your mama gave you that's not appropriate for an elegant woman, a woman who wants to look elegant in her photos. Even if you are blessed, you know, <laughs> with a big bum, there is no need to show it in your photos. Because when you show it, it's like you're telling guys, I have only this, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> whereby you are an intelligent woman, you are kind, you are beautiful, you are understanding, you know, 
all those good qualities <laughs> you got them but if you show your bum it brings another interpretation so guys in conclusion photos are very very important take them seriously because recently there is a lady i was talking to she was telling me her story i'll be bringing it very very soon she found a very rich guy on online dating apps so she was telling me, Bella, I did not know that photos are so important. And at the time I uploaded my photos, I was very broke. I was so down. I just had my baby. So when I uploaded those photos, no one, no one gave me the attention. But after me settling down, coming across your channel, knowing that photos are very, very important, I took cute, cute photos, uploaded them, on my profile and I could get 150 messages in a day. I chose and chose until <laughs> I landed to that rich guy. This is just an example to show you how photos are very, very important. But those of you that we have worked on your photos and still you are not getting any positive feedback, keep praying maybe it's not yet your god's time but we have done the right thing already i'm also telling you photos are very very important especially in the project that is coming very soon of matchmaking we will need your photos and i won't accept to show your photos that are not elegant so let's work on our photos and i think you have got an answer already that you don't need to buy expensive <laughs> outfits to look beautiful no you need to follow all those tips that i gave you you are going to look very beautiful without even spending a lot for my fellow black african women who are in africa you guys are so blessed you just don't know <laughs> yeah due, due to the second hand clothes stores that are there my zambian people you call it salaula right <laughs> thrift shops oh my god those shops have got very very beautiful outfits if you choose correctly just like in the tips that i gave you even one of my friend who is searching too <laughs> watched that video that we talked about how you should look on your online dating profile and she was like bella for me i go to salaula and i always look elegant and it's true she's always beautiful elegant but what i can say i work more on are the accessories yes so you can also include accessories in your outfits but remember not to look too much not to look like you're trying so hard always balance things out you always look elegant so guys i've got a last tip for you which is a bonus tip when you're taking your photos especially for shorter girls even if you're not all that short but you want your photos you know to come out you looking taller Tell the person that is taking you photos to either kneel down, sit down, or bend and take you the photos. Because sometimes I see photos, a lady coming out, you know, looking like a baby, very, very small and shorter. <laughs> but if that photo was taken the way that I'm telling you, then you could have appeared more taller and not looking like a baby. So let's avoid that mistake. <laughs> Another bonus tip, I know sometimes you can feel very shy to take photos in a crowd or in public. So if you are like that, but for me, I don't care. <laughs> I take photos everywhere. You can look at me as you want, <laughs> but I'm gonna pause as I like and I'm gonna take as many photos as I want <laughs> without caring you're looking at me or not but if you're someone who is shy then my tip here is choose a place that is calm no people around or less crowded that way you'll be able to get out of your comfort zone be playful try out different poses Take as many photos as you can because after all, no one is looking at you. It's you and the person who is taking you photos. I think that one will help you very, very much to achieve cute, elegant 
photos that you're going to upload on your online dating profile. So guys, I've got lots of tips to give to you, but you can see the video is long already. For today, let us end it here. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed it. You learned lots, lots of things that will help you so much that will change your fashion game. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would really, really love to see your comment and to see what you think. Please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join this family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.